State a three-game winning streak to him right now by head football coach. And he had a great win uh, Saturday night in the rain here against uh, Army. And uh, you're riding the three-game winning streak right now. I mean, I, it is what it is. I mean, you, you got to win one at a time. And, of course, we got Troy this week. It was a great effort by our, by our squad last uh, Saturday night. And, uh, you know, it was a tough physical game. We, uh, we came out on top. I think it's necessary to be successful. We pulled out the win. And we were proud of it. But it's, it's back to our conference schedule, a ring game. So it means uh, it means so much to us to have this Troy squad coming in at our place. Play once a week. Can you feel the kind of building now as this team has uh, begun to play well both sides of the football? It gets better and better. And, uh, you know, again, again as you mentioned, uh, jumping back in the league. Right? Hey, you got you got to be uh, – Afraid of praise. I always kind of use that. To, uh, you, you never want to get accustomed to doing anything like winning. I, I want them to understand you got to go out and practice hard. There's got to be struggles in it. And, uh, it uh, but it's, it's a good feeling. Uh, I will tell you that. And it's, uh, it makes our practices a lot better. And, uh, you know, as long as we understand how to handle the praise that we're getting and, and people patting you on the back, then, then we should be okay. But you always have to be really careful about it. All right, Coach. Appreciate it. All right, that's Coach is staying right here with me. I'm going to speak with Trajan, and uh, you, you compliment him so well after that Army game. You talk about your linebacking group and just your front seven. You talk about they don't get enough credit or enough acknowledgement. Just what have they done for you this year? I mean, uh, if you just look off that game alone, it was a battle. I mean, uh, truly uh, one of the most physical contests that I've seen, and, and those guys up front between our two ends and our nose and our two inside linebackers, especially those five right there. Um, what a what a what a physical ball game! But they they, they just pound. They're kind of like the offensive line. You don't hear a whole lot about them, and you know they make plays, they make stops, and they're just doing their jobs. And then they continue to do it a lot better in these two games in a row. That, and I think they're showing up and done a, a tremendous job. You face completely well, not different, but compared to Army, a lot of teams are different. But Troy and with Barker, they had a strong passing game. Uh, just what's the, what's the adjustment preparation-wise, just defensively, from Army to a team like Troy likes to throw it a bit? So, I mean, you, you got to spend a little bit of time, more time on the throwing game. I mean, your skeletons and things of that nature. I mean, it's a good week where we can uh, get back going one-on-one -on -one, uh, versus offense and defense, doing our, our good on good. So, uh, you know, that's how we'll, we'll move back in or trans transition back into this preparation for Troy. And you got such a good start now. You can look at the schedule and look at the standings. This is... You face Troy, you have App State coming up. You're really reaching the heart of your uh, conference schedules. What's the team's is mindset right now? I mean, you know, I mean, it's very easy for you to throw out those names right there, but, uh, but it's a conference game with Troy this week. You know, I'm not one of those coaches say, oh, you don't look for, you don't look ahead. And I mean, it's certainly, uh, but you just have to focus. You have to, you have to have blinders on. You gotta, you gotta be like a racehorse, and you gotta keep your head straight forward and. And whatever comes next, that's what you got to go attack and defeat. All right, appreciate it.